All right, so we're talking about the power of giving here on Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown, and uh, yesterday we looked at a passage from Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Most of us know this by heart, but it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on, uh, to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. We talked about the fact that we need to trust God. Uh, I mean, without trusting God, um, none of this works. In other words, he says to give, and we argue with him. And uh, that just tells us that we are not trusting him. We need to trust him even with our finances. Amen. Um, it is you proving to yourself that you can trust God. And the question from heaven in the time of need is always going to be, can you trust me? We need to. When things aren't going right, sometimes we just need to go to bed. What in the world do I mean by that? In other words, sometimes what happens is we just, we expect it to be done now. I mean, that's the kind of culture that we have. We're a microwave culture. We want things right now as quick as possible. But God is trying to build up character within us. The Bible talks about it in Hebrews and, and says that you're in need of endurance. And of course it says, count it all joy, my brother, when you encounter various trials, knowing the test of your faith produces patience. And let patience have her perfect work, causing you to be perfect, complete, lacking nothing. So when it comes to giving, sometimes we have to just take the day off. Just take a breather. It will come in God's perfect timing. Um, and by the way, during that time of patience and endurance, things seem to get really hard. But remember in Pro, uh, Psalm chapter 30, it says, Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. See, can you trust God to wait on that moment when the joy comes? Um, you might also say, but I really needed the money today. Trust God's perfect timing, okay? It doesn't make sense. Here's another thing that we all say. It doesn't make sense to take my hard-earned money and just give it away. God knows that. But this is not trusting in what you understand about a thing. It doesn't make sense right in the natural, but we're not dealing with something natural here. We're dealing with something supernatural, okay? Um, so once again, do you trust God? Look at with me at verse 6. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths in all your ways but if you don't in all your ways acknowledge him if you don't trust him then he can't direct your paths all right verse 7 it says um, do not be wise in your own eyes fear the Lord and depart from evil um, and in verse 8 it says it will be health to your flesh and strength to your bone boy some of us need that uh, again, all of this money thing and, and the giving and the tithing thing really sometimes can bring stress on us. And what we need to do is get out from underneath that stress. The only way that that possibly can happen is for us to trust in the Lord and lean not to our own understanding. In all our ways, acknowledge him and he'll direct our paths. And look what happens when we get to verse 9. Well, let's look at verse, yeah, we looked at verse 8. Look at verse 9. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruit of your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. So once again, see here, he's saying, if you'll trust in me, if you'll lean on me, if you'll count on me and not lean to your own understanding, if you'll not allow the world to dictate what you're doing, but you'll do what I tell you to do, I, I will show you and and in the natural, manifest in the natural. Once again, in Malachi, he says, try me now in this. It says, test him now in this and see if I'll not open up the windows of heaven and pour out such blessings that your barns can't even contain it. Amen. Um, one thing that we need to look at here is when it says, honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruit of your increase. And... Um, when we give, we should not be giving out of what, um, in other words, the first part is, is God's. We give out of the first fruit. 
the first 10% belonged to him. Why? Because just like he gave his son, it was his best, we should give our best. We give the first fruit. Uh, and that's how we should start that. And again, if you get if you get used to doing this all the time, the check comes in, you look how much it is, you write your check uh, to the Lord, right? Uh, pretty soon you realize that that's just the way I do business, and you'll see that God will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That's just the way this thing works. Anyway, I love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.